We saw an interesting decision from the state Supreme Court last week regard to the local government center. And uh, the state regulation against the local government center for uh, not misappropriating funds but not returning surplus to cities and towns. A split decision from the Supreme Court, unanimous ruling, um, but the Im important decision part of it is the cash, which is um, it ruled essentially it upheld $50 million in returns that the local government center and its subsidiary groups had to return to member communities. Um, this is a big victory for professional firefighter President David Lang and for Secretary of State Bill Gardner, who have been fighting for tr more transparency and accountability um, in that agency. But uh, there's an important part of that decision is not getting a lot of attention, which essentially said the hearing officer overstepped his authority to try and set uh, essentially a debt ratio or an amount that can be kept in reserve um, and cannot be kept in reserve, which means in the future that the local government center will set its own ratio of surplus revenues. Um, and some legislators may not like that. We're going to keep an eye on the legislature this year. There's not talk yet, but there's whispering right now about a legislative solution to that part of the decision. They also, um, the court also may, made in its unanimous ruling, um, also outlined the, outlawed the use of attorney's fees to be paid in that decision. But a long-awaited decision, a very important one for this quasi-government agency run by former Senate President Peter Bragdon. Uh, like I said, a split decision, but if you're Peter Bragdon, you're more on the losing end than the winning end of this one.